Hey, we give you the facts. It's not what you think. Popeye News Link. Young King. One yard. Bless. Good morning, Popeye. Grandma watch Popeye's every morning and every night. Popeye, them finos say you're firm on street. And the news where you carry are no counterfeit. So tell all who are fighter you, them can't defeat. And I got give your strength so your heart no weak. Mm-hmm. So I say God and greatness. Like, subscribe, and share to Popeye News Links if it's the truth you want to hear. So yeah. Greetings, greetings viewers and subscribers. This Friday, April 19, and Saturday, April 20, all road leads to the Blue Hole at Brighton in the Orange Hill area of Westmoreland. It's the Blue Hole 420 celebrations. There'll be lots of fun and entertainment. Bushman and Fantan Moja are the special guest performers. Don't miss it. In yesterday's video, I told you that that guy on your screen was wanted by the police for chopping off his baby mother's right hand. His name is Ashroy Johnson. On this channel, we give everyone a voice. At the end of the stories, I'm going to play a voice note that was sent in by Ashroy's mother. And then, I'm going to play a voice note sent in by someone who wished not to be identified. You're going to want to hear these voice notes. Stand by for them. In the news today, a 42-year-old teacher named Stephen Cunningham, he has been arrested and charged by the Portmore Police for the offense of rape. Stephen is the teacher at a school in Portmore and the offense was allegedly committed against a 16-year-old student inside different classrooms at the school. The allegations are that on different occasions, Stephen held down the student and had intercourse with her against her will. A report was made and the police were informed. As a result, Stephen, he was arrested and charged, so he'll be going to the courts shortly. Over at Old Arbor, a 35-year-old fisherman named Ryan Reed, he has been arrested and charged for raping his 18-year-old cousin. The incident took place last month at Bowers Drive in Old Arbor. It is alleged that Ryan he invited his cousin to his home where he held her down and had intercourse with her against her will. As a result, a report was made to the police and Ryan, he was charged. So, he'll be going to the courts shortly. In this next incident, that fire took place Sunday night, April 15, about 7.30. It took place at 18 Barnett Street at a section known as Gravel Lane in Montego Bay, in the parish of St. James. Fire, said to be of unknown origin, completely destroyed the two-story building. The building comprised of 11 rooms, occupied by 11 tenants. It is said that the tenants, they saw fire coming from the top of the building and called the fire department. As you can see on the video. By the time the fire personnel arrived, the fire was too much for them. The building and most of its contents were completely destroyed. That's 11 different family affected. Sad indeed. Now, over in Westmoreland, there was another fire. And this one is the work of an arsonist who broke into the house and stole some items. That six apartment board house was owned by a female in her mid 40s. We are learning that the house has been unoccupied since mid November 2023 as the owner was in another parish working. Early Monday morning, April 15, a hoodlum broke into the house and stole a quantity of items. He then set the house on fire. Residents of the area, they saw the house on fire and called the Savannah Lamar Fire Department. But by the time they reached, they were only able to do cooling down operations. The house and its contents valued at over 
8 million Jamaican dollars were completely destroyed by fire. Sad indeed. In this as report, yesterday afternoon, Tuesday, April 16, a team of police officers acting on intelligence, they carried out a raid in the Mount Pelia area of Hanover. As the team was approaching a party killer area, three guys were spotted. On seeing the police, they ran off. One escaped, but two of them were held by the police. A search was carried out and bingo. One AK-47 rifle with a magazine affixed containing nine 7.62 rounds were found by the police. The guys who were held, they were taken into police custody for questioning. One is 29 years old and the other one, he is 23 years old. Intelligencers, big up on yourself. And police officers, job well done. In this next incident, the Green Island police, they are searching for a guy named Ricardo White, but he's popularly known as Puro. Puro is a 38-year-old mechanic and he's living at Moreland Hill in the parish of Westmoreland. So, this is the reason why Puro is wanted. Listen to me now. Puro, he was involved in a relationship with a 37-year-old female living at Cave Valley District in the parish of Hanover. That relationship produced a child. That relationship went sour and the female she decided to call it quits about two years ago since then puro he has been trying to force the female into continuing the relationship with him but she said no it's over in october 2022 puro is alleged to have burnt down the female's house he was arrested and charged by the police when that matter was called up in court, the female told the court that she was no longer interested in proceeding any further with the matter. As a result, a negative statement was collected from her and the case was dismissed by the judge. Yesterday morning, Tuesday, April 16, about minutes to 11 o'clock, the female, her mother and other family members were at home. They were on the veranda when Puro, he rode up on a motorcycle. It is said that the female's mother, she told the female to go inside the house to avoid a confrontation. It is alleged that Puro, he pulled a gun and pointed it at the mother and opened gunfire at her. He then rode away on the bike, making good his escape. Luckily, no one was injured. Gunshot damage was done to the rear windscreen and the interior of a Honda Fit motor car owned by the baby mother that was parked in the yard. The police, they were informed and when they processed this crime scene, two 9mm pen shells were recovered from the scene. So, Puro, he's wanted by the police. Now, Listen me carefully. Listen to me carefully. In yesterday's video, I told you about a chain of events that took place at Sentence Bay in Sentan as well as Falmouth in Trelawney. They took place Monday night, April 15. Now, some persons are saying that I got the stories wrong, but no, I did not get the stories wrong. I'm going to read this statement put out by the JCF and then I'm going to refresh your memory about what took place. Follow me now. If you look on your screen, the JCF said, A hoodlum who is believed to be one of the suspects involved in the killing of a police officer on Bravo Street in Sentence Bay Monday night, April 15, was shot dead during a confrontation with the police on Snake Lane, Steertown in Senton, shortly after 3 p.m. on Tuesday, April 16. He was identified as Ciraldo Butler, also known as Siri. He was reportedly 
one of the suspects in the fatal shooting of Constable Ricardo Fairclough in Sentence Bay during the incident that led to Constable Fairclough's death. A female vendor was shot in the upper body by the assailants. She remains in hospital. During the operation that resulted in Butler's death, police recovered one pistol at the scene. So, in the report I gave yesterday, I did not say that Siri was not involved in the killing of Constable Fairclough. Let me tell you what I reported in chronological order. About 8.30 Monday night, April 15, a 24-year-old female vendor, she was attacked and shot by a hoodlum while she was standing in front of the JN Bank in St. Anne's Bay. Constable Fairclough, who was nearby, he intervened and shots were exchanged with him and the hoodlum. Both Constable Fairclough and the hoodlum, they were shot. The hoodlum, he ran down Musgrave Street and escaped on a waiting motorcycle. About 9.30, follow me now. About 9.30, one hour after the killing of Constable Fairclough, a team of police officers tried to intercept a motorcycle which Siri was riding with a pillion on it. Siri, he opened gunfire at the police who returned the fire and he managed to escape from the police. The pillion on the bike, he was held by the police. Follow me again. At minutes after 10 o'clock Monday night, a guy, he turned up at the Falmouth Hospital with gunshot wounds to his abdomen and his left hand. The police, when they went to the hospital and questioned this guy, he gave them conflicting stories about where and when he was shot. He finally told them that he was waiting on a taxi along the Salt Marsh Main Road when he was shot by guys traveling in a Toyota Axio who robbed him of his cell phone. Based on the report and the conflicting stories he gave to the police, he was placed under police guard and listed as a suspect in the killing of Constable Fairclough and the wounding of the female. So the question is, was this guy involved or not? Will he be charged by the police or not? I am told that investigations are continuing. In the meantime, this guy is battling for life at the Cornwall Regional Hospital under police guard. The mayhem. The me so let me ask you something. <laughs> let me ask you something. Have you hit on the love button as yet? If you have not yet done so, remember to hit on it. Also, if you are over here watching our videos and you have not yet subscribed, Hit on the subscribe button as also. Hit on the notification bell. Then click all. So that whenever we drop a new video, you'll be one of the first to be notified. Now, before I go into the final story, we are learning that a female foreign national named April, she was found dead in a house at Elgin Town in the parish of Anova this morning. April was murdered. In a subsequent video, I'm going to be updating this story. Also, a 37-year-old taxi driver, he was shot and seriously wounded whilst on the job at Mango Walk in Montego Bay early this morning. We'll be updating that story as well. Stand by for them. But in the final story for today, this one, it took place along a dirt track in the Little Lane community at Central Village in the parish of St. Catherine. It took place early yesterday morning, Tuesday, April 16, almost 2 o'clock. Reports are that a team of police officers, they were on foot patrol in the area. It is said that a party was being held in the area. The police, they are reporting that while they were walking along the dirt track, they saw three guys. On seeing the police, it is said that the guys, they brandished guns and opened gunfire. 
The police, they are saying that they took evasive action and returned the fire. Two of the guys made good their escape, but one of them fell, clutching a Glock P80 pistol affixed with a magazine containing two live rounds. His name is Chad Fiercy. Chad was 23 years old and he was unemployed, living at West Avenue in the Central Village area. Chad, he died on the spot. Indicom is carrying out investigations. The mayhem continues. And now, as promised, here are the voice notes from Ashwai Johnson's mother and from someone who wished to remain anonymous. Ashroy, he's accused of chopping off his baby mother, Ashley's right hand. Listen to this. Good night. Good night, Mr. Papai. Um, my son never chopped nobody else. My son never chopped no one else. A man attacked him with machine. The whole community know about it. A man attack him with machete and he used a stone and fling a stone and lick the machete and, and, and the man and, and, and the man head boss. He never he never chat nobody else with machete. Never. He never chat nobody else with no machete, please. And all the news that you get to the girl and chop off clean, clean. And then you need to go into the hospital and look on the girl hands. And look how many, how many cut the girl half. The girl using one mouth and tell me, saying, take up, I shall hand slip out. And you run go take up the machine and go down the yard and start chop out the window. And you chop off the lock and go in the house. And as she go down her yard and see him and he come out her yard and go up her shop and fling stone in her shop. And when he fling a stone in her shop, he go up there. He chop off her head in her shape and he slap off her head. So come and get the, the lick in her head. That's what, they, that's, what they, that's what the people they must be saying. When he lie down on him back, and go over him again and he swing the machine the pint of the machine catching your hand that's why hand chop like that my picnic is not a murder it's not a wanted man it's first my child had been locked up Man, people of altercation yes but he never locked up he never been to jail yet so when them all put it on the news him a wanted man and he might chop up people and then something they are no witness please sir Please, I'm begging you, please. Let it be known clear to them. Running file. How many times you have been locked up with for people or whatever? Everybody young and them are grow people and people might meet, yes. Please. I and check the file how many times people try to hurt them. Please, my big one. And the and the and the and the writing on her hand, I will not do the writing. And the was struggled and trash out the news first before I put it up. They find the true part of the news before I put up it. Nobody know what my son did. I got true. Ask the girl if he not stab him in her hand Friday Thursday. Ask the girl if she not stab him in her hand. Thursday, the girl talk all time out and stab him up. So all of them say, I'm going to put up on you, I'm going to do, and I'm going to do, and I'm going to do, and I'm going to sink on what she's going to do, and what she's going to do. Please, justice there for everybody. I'm not worrying nobody, I'm not quarreling with nobody. I'm not having nothing against nobody. Justice is for everybody. My people never been wanted by police. Uh, anything he do, he go by his station and he talk. Everybody have rights. He never chop nobody else with no machine. 
I was to one in take and lick down here and lick the boy when the boy attacking me the machine. Everybody did I know. Jesus Christ, man. Jamaica can never will never be better. Good evening, Papa. We all agree so what I tried done. It wasn't right. But what the girl did also wasn't right. Okay? And um the girl mash out the wind of them, chop up in TV, go out in shop and mash up in, sh in glass case in a shop and fling big stone in a shop. Run off of him with chopper. You understand? And all of this something there. No, yeah, does yeah we yeah we hear more. Me just now I get involved too much. Yeah. You run down a shower with chopper. And I'll lay something there. And if I try never run, you that chop up I try see him way. So people are talk and I talk like say yeah, you to run wrong. Yes, see you wrong. We chop off in hand and then something there. But at the end of the day we have to put justice where justice is. As we now go get there something here stop. Woman do the same thing to man just like woman do the same thing to woman. Because if she ain't get the upper hand, I shall have the lead on the hospital. But just because I should get the upper hand, everybody I was saying this, everybody I was saying that. And nobody now look on the fact to say a youth attack a youth attack to her and she start mash up a youth things the man chop up a youth TV, mash out a youth window, mash up a youth shop and then something there. Everybody ever talk with them feel like that because three girl they don't ask it all. Yes, I understand say her hand chop off. But the same thing could have happened to Ashi because Ashi right hand slip out the same way. So at the end of the day, everybody is at fault. So all they need to do is come to agreement and if I so be a case with you, help look about her. That's, that's all me can say because two youth in my picture. One theme, two youth in my picture. You understand? When I youth a theme, one and a theme, and I'm a take care of two youth them. You understand? So at the end of the day, everybody, I say what they feel like, say. And nobody now talk the facts about what really happened. Because the girl are running down youth with chopper same way. At the end of the day. Blessed love, everybody. Tell a friend, for tell a friend, for tell a friend. About Popeye News Link and PNL Blog TV. Like, subscribe, and share. With Silver Sin, if we just unite, what a country this will be. If we just unite, Jamaica live in unity. If we just unite, what a country this will be. Jumia, 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 Jumia,
a car, the land of the sun Show me a car, we come now, the land of the gun East and north and south, to me turn Country and town, man, I feel blood of run Murder, don't you be heavy, me hear them a murder